Hi everyone, Cool Cat Jazz back here with another informative video. Today I'm going to talk about repairing my Lenko L75 motor. I accidentally uh, broke the no screw plunger that actually regulates or holds still the spindle. The screw goes in here and it goes up against the spindle to kind of keep it, you know, steady and stuff. So, um, I ordered, uh, my first attempt was to order a, a uh, Jurgens uh, plunger, but uh, I wasn't really satisfied with it. Um, the motor was louder than I wanted it to be. And I think the reason why is because the original, we can see right here, it has, of course, the screw, which you can see here broken too has a spring and then it has like a flat um, movable or free uh, I don't know what you want to call it I guess you could call it a little plunger I guess a little plunger there that actually holds the spindle now the big difference with this is is that um, as you can see when the motor spindle is spinning this is free to move while this even though it um, does spin a little bit, it's kind of hard. So what I did uh, was order some ball, um, some ball bearings or some plungers with a ball. I like see the difference between um, this one and this one. This one actually has a ball in the spring behind it, so it's able to. Um, spin freely other, other you know unlike this one which is a little hard so um, what I did was you know of course I took took apart the motor I you know took the old grease out um, put the new grease in which was this general purpose one now this is my second time lubing this uh, motor the first time I did it I used a white lithium grease um, and I kind of you know Hurried, hurried that process up because I was in the process of moving. Of course, then it went to storage, and that white lithium grease is just actually no good at all because I opened it, and it looked like the original caked up version of the grease. So I went and bought um, just some general purpose uh, lithium grease here, uh, re-greased everything, and um, I'm about to start the motor right now. Like you see right now, it's um, about as quiet as you get. Now, usually what I have is a empty beer. I set it up on a empty beer can, but I have this uh, this tin can here with a bit of newspaper over it. You know, thank God my wife is gone, or else she'll fucking kill me. But um, that's the only thing I've had here since you know it's been a while since I bought canned beer. But um, you know, you adjust it here, and usually um, according to instructions. What you want to do is have at least two millimeters play between here. See that? So what you can do, what what most people do, is they tighten the no screw all the way up, and then when you hear it grinding, you back it up. See. So let me start this right here. still quiet as hell um, you know it kind of freaked me out when I broke it because as you can see from some of my older videos I am cur currently selling my uh, Riga P25 for 1200 bucks you know top of the line Riga uh, you know it's a 25th anniversary it has all the bells and whistles there's nothing more you can do to um, to upgrade it you can probably upgrade my old Riga with um, some feet, but I did that and you know, it just There was absolutely no difference between the rubber on the plinth and uh, the steel um, Foot there, so I have a uh, you know about three people uh, looking at it um, A gentleman is supposed to come in tomorrow from New York to I don't know pick it up or or um, You know look at it or buy it. I, I'm not sure you know how People are people, you know, they send you inquiries and then they'll sell to buy it and then they don't, you know, I, 
Uh, I got an email yesterday about my Riga P25. Uh, somebody asked, um, you know, how much would you sell without the tone arm? And I was like, well, you know, I want to get rid of it, you know, completely. I don't want to have pieces laying around because, you know, pieces get lost and then, um, you know, just be sitting there. You know, the Riga P25 is just sitting in my basement and I have all the packing and everything. But anyways, you know, it kind of freaked me out because a person was going to buy it. And then I busted the uh, the spring. And I didn't have a turntable. I was like, oh my goodness, you know what? I, you know, kind of. Well, you know, kind of. Kind of uh, it's a little, um, you know, sentimental getting rid of my Riga since it's pretty much my first or second really high uh, audiophile um, thing or equipment that I bought. So, so uh, working back on the motor, as she still spinning still quiet so what I'm gonna do is adjust it a little bit more all the way until I get a um until I get some grinding and usually some still more there actually gotta hold the nut and And adjust the it's tight there I'm gonna see if, he's, if it even spins now you hear that grinding there now usually you adjust it until that grinding is gone so what I'll do here is do this and back it up until right there and that's where you actually set it so if I tighten it you hear that grinding back off the screw And that's where it should be set, so. Still a little noisier than I would like. Let me back it up a little bit. There we go. Anyway, you can't even tell it's on. So. Usually they say, you know, about two millimeters play, and that's about right there. So everything's greased, oiled. I took it, uh, like, like I said, I took it completely apart. I, uh, you know, re-oiled the bearing in here, the spring, and the new um, nose, nose uh, plunger, which, uh, never mind that, the actual size is M4, and this is actually nine millimeters. I got it off eBay. It came from Hong Kong. It came pretty, pretty fast. It's made out of, uh, you know, it looks to be really, really good compared to the uh, Jurgens one, which is, uh, which you can see. Let me see if the camera focuses there. You see the difference. This one has a huge plunger in there, and like I said, it felt like, um, you know, when the spindle's rotating and this is up against it, this wasn't able to spin along with it so I think maybe the ball bearing um, you know because there's no actual way to attach a um, a spring to a ball um, so you know it seems like it will be a lot more uh, free uh, to spin with the uh, with the spindle so there you have it that is a replacement uh, nose spring plunger for an Lenko L75 um, motor. Like I said, I really was shit in my pants because um, I didn't have a turntable here for a little bit since the Riga's um, packed and ready to go. So um, here you have it right there, the two different ones. And like I said, I got this on. I still have, well, four left. So if anybody in the States needs one, um, to try it out, um, you know, shoot me an email. If not, they're like, I don't know, five bucks or something on eBay. Um, like I said, I got it from, um, 
eBay uh, seller in Hong Kong or China, I think it was. So, um, you know, that's it. So have a good day, and, um, you know, see you next time. Peace.